the most important house in our horoscope after ascendant is the 10th house. As I told you with respect to the ascendant also that ascendant, ascendant lord have to be powerful for the person to be successful. It goes with the 10th house as well. If the 10th house and 10th lord is powerful, one will be successful, otherwise not. So you have to set up ascendant, ascendant lord, 10th house, 10th house lord. If they are powerful, with respect to house, a house is always powerful. It can become more powerful or it can become afflicted. So a Rashi becomes more powerful when the Rashi is influenced by Jupiter, Mercury or Lord of the Rashi. Influenced by means expected by or these planets are situated in the house. If the house is afflicted, having influence of only malefics, Saturn, Mars, Rahu, Sun or bad house lords, 6th, 8th, 12th house lord, then the house should be considered afflicted. Right? You see, everything in life is success only. If there is no combination of success in, this, in that particular scenario, even the combinations for wealth and Raj Yoga go for a toss. And in those horoscopes where there is combination of success, then in that particular horoscope, you will see even smallest of Raj Yogas and smallest of Dhani Yogas also catapult to the native to greater heights. So first of all, the analysis of how successful the native will be is very important. Because if the native is not successful, Lagna Lagna Lord, 10th house, 10th house Lord is not powerful. In that particular scenario, the wealth that the native will have, even if there is Dhani Yoga, the, delth, the wealth that the native will have, that wealth will also not be his own. He will be from family, so he can get things through inheritance. But because the combination of success is not there, he will not be able to use that wealth properly. And later on, will only repent that I had so much money and why I did not use it properly and all of these things. Right? So success becomes a very important factor in horoscope. And that success is seen with respect to the 10th house. For this particular reason, 10th house becomes very, very important. Along with this, you see, there is a tradition of astrology developed somewhere between 15th to 18th century, which believes that, and it is true, that's why I'm mentioning it, which believes that if the person have to get something, but the yogas are not supportive, Lagna Lord can give it. For example, you say there is a combination for having child. But the dasha antar dasha of the planet is not coming. Or you say there is a combination of having child because of things such as bees futa, chitras futa. Whereas the fifth house, fifth lord significator is weak. So because they are weak, they cannot indicate childbirth. But bees futa, chitras futa and principles like this are indicating childbirth. In that particular scenario, Dasha Antar Dasha of Lagna Lagna Lord, planet connected to the ascendant, can give the result. And according to me, the 10th house also does the same. So, two things are there. If there is any combination, and the Dasha Antar Dasha of that particular planet who is making that combination is not coming, then in that particular scenario, generally I have seen 10th Lord, 10th house, planet in the 10th house also activates it. Right. So this is another very important facet with respect to the 10th house. And one more thing is there. The dasha of the planet connected with 10th house. Even the antar dasha of the planet connected with 10th house, 10th lord. Is very crucial. Why? Because 10th house indicates karma. Right. So whenever a new karma starts, for example, you see. In the life of a person. First, there is childhood, then the time of learning. After that, a time of success or a time of fortune or a time of misfortune will start. And this is a time after which the person success, you know, person goes into the profession which is suitable for him, starts making money. And then the journey for success, journey for fortune, good event or bad things, if it is promised in horoscope, starts. How does this start happens? It happens from the 10th house because 10th house indicates karma. So generally you say if Rajyog is there in horoscope and the person is worried about when the Rajyog will start, 
it is generally the dasha antar dasha of the 10th lord who will start it and before the dasha antar dasha of 10th house 10th lord or planet connected to 10th house or 10th lord does not come a great chunk of karma does not start right so any good or bad thing any good or bad karma it will start only when the only in the dasha antar dasha of planet connected to 10th house 10th lord or 10th house 10th lord itself for this particular reason it becomes very crucial to check how the dasha antar dasha of the planet connected to 10th house that 10th house 10th lord i will not repeat over and over again so it becomes essential to check how the dasha antar dasha of the planet connected with 10th house is going because if in the dasha antar dasha of planet connected to 10th house if person starts suffering it is an future indication that you know result of bad karmas can start in near future and in that particular scenario one should prepare to do remedies find remedies consult good astrologers and do remedies to safeguard themselves right also if someone is expecting you see you see good dhan yoga in horoscope you see fortune in horoscope you see success in horoscope and you want to time it when it will happen 10th house is the house that you should closely see to know when this will start right so the after the dasha antar dasha of the 10th lord a new phase in life will start which will have too many karmas and a particular type of you know new phase in life will start to put it in nutshell now see one thing is there regarding karma philosophy you have to understand one thing so a lot of karmas you have done in previous lives there are innumerable number of lives right in one life also like from the start of kali yuga even if you say that 2000 years have passed by then sorry 2 lakh years have passed by and if you take that you live 100 years for each life then 2 lakh divided by 100 is a great answer right now in this 100 year of life every day you will do a lot of karma right so you say if 2 lakh years of kali yuga have passed by suppose Two lakh like year of kali yuga have passed by, and you have lived hundred years. Then you have gone through two thousand lives. In this two thousand lives, you have lived hundred years each, right? So it is once again two lakh. At two lakh years, you have lived. Now one year have three sixty five days, so it is you know seven crore thirty thousand years that you have lived. Now every day we do a lot of karmas. so how many karmas we must have done in 7 lakh 30 7 crore 30 lakh years right multiple karmas we must have done now in this multiple karmas the karma that you are going to have in this life is seen through horoscope right this is prarabdh karma this is prarabdh karma now it is not necessary that this karma will be from the previous life only or all the karma will be from the same life so this karma can be from the previous life or previous to previous life or 10 lives ago 20 lives ago or it can also be that in the matters of marriage you will get result of the previous life karma but in the matter of profession you will get result of uh, a life which you lived 100 years ago or 200 years ago like that so karma is a mix it is not like you, know, you repeat the result of uh, result of karma of this life and next life only it is not this way right so this is that this is seen in horoscope the type of karma that you are here to go through now as you go through the karma good karmas and bad karmas are fixed and what type of karma you will go with is also fixed so first you will go through good karma or then you will go through bad karma this is fixed for how long you will go it is also fixed now one thing is there if the native is going through a good time and in that good time person continues to do good karma then what will happen in this good time the enjoyment will increase the bad time because good time will be followed by bad time so this bad time will come and in that bad time though there will be sufferings but there will be some support for the native also good family good spouse good job that type of support will be there and after that bad karma is over good after that bad karma is over good karma will give result again and person will enjoy again that is guaranteed if the person continues to do good karma in good time on the other hand if the person continues to do bad karma in good time then in that particular scenario the enjoyment that the good time is giving will diminish 
and further the bad time that will come that will be more painful and because the person have done good karma in bad times then the bad time will not be over it will keep on extending and good time may not come again in the same manner if someone is going through suffering it is a bad time and one continues to do good karma then in that bad time also though bad time cannot be over but there will be much support from family and others in that bad time and that bad time will be over and good time will come again the person will enjoy in bad time if the person continues to do bad karma then the pain suffering increases and the bad karma also and the bad time extends as well so one will do good karma or bad karma according to their horoscope now because 10th house primarily indicates karma and if there is a benefic planet connected to the 10th house jupiter moon venus mercury it does indicate that person generally does good karma so donation to needy people donation to priest being attentive of you know what i am doing am i hurting someone or these things that person is focused in good karma they do good karma so as i told the result that i told just now that the person will do good karma so in good times they will have a lot of enjoyment and in bad time the person will have support of family friends profession money if there is a benefic planet connected to the 10th house this is the prediction part if there is a malefic planet sun saturn mars rahu connected to the 10th house in that particular scenario it indicates bad karma so the result of bad karma will be that when good time comes it will not be completely good some or other problems will be there good time will last for shorter period bad time will last for longer period and when bad time comes there will be multiple sufferings the person will feel like dying the person will suffer a lot so this result will be there but here we have to keep in mind that if a powerful planet is connected to 10th house exalted own rashi mul trigun varguttam in that particular scenario one is very cautious of what type of karma they are doing and generally people you know keep in mind that i should not hurt others i should help others and all of these things even debilitated planet connected to the 10th house does indicate the same that person tries not to hurt others not to give pain to others which counts in good karma and the result of a person doing good karma enjoying much in good times and bad times getting quickly over applies on the other hand if there is a very you know if there is other type of planet for other type of planet you go with the good and bad planet division that i have just told you you go by that now one more thing is there which i often face but not in regular consultations every day but often like once in two months i keep on facing that regarding what karma i am here to do see my answer is pretty simple in hindu thought you have done multiple karmas in previous life and you are here to just to go through that karma right so one will do karma and one will go to heaven or hell as per the karma that is punishment that is not the repayment of karma as such that is punishment repayment of karma will happen once you come back to this earth it is like if someone have committed a crime they will go to jail because they have committed the crime they have disrupted the law and order of the society but this is not the repayment of the crime the repayment of the crime will happen when the same crime happens with the native again that this is when the repayment of the crime will happen right so this is a basic point that you have to keep in mind then the repayment will happen that is a one basic point now in this particular case as per the hindu thought you are born to repay your karma it's not like everyone is born to do something very special or everything is born to do something very specific so you are born in this life you will be married or you will not be married you will produce a child or you will not produce a child what type of profession you will have how how great success you will achieve or not this is for everyone this can be predicted for everyone using the horoscope but one will do a karma which will be impactful for the society or not impactful for the society this is not for everyone so not everyone is like you know this personal karma of getting married producing children this is for everyone but such karma right that one creates a revolution for the society one creates a revolution for the world is not for everyone so it is for whom that is the point so if jupiter is connected to the 10th house or if a powerful planet exalted mul trikon varguttam swarashi is connected to the 10th house or if the 10th lord is 
उच्च मूल त्रिकोण वर्गोत्तम स्वराशि इन अ पावरफुल कंडीशन दिस इज कॉल्ड अ पावरफुल कंडीशन राइट इफ द प्लैनेट कनेक्टेड टू टेंथ हाउस और टेंथ लॉर्ड इज इन अ पावरफुल कंडीशन देन इन दैट पर्टिकुलर सिनेरियो पर्सन विल पर्सन इज बॉन्ड टू डू अ पावरफुल कर्म वॉट इज पावरफुल कर्मा मीन्स दैट द कर्मा ऑफ द पर्सन विल इम्पैक्ट द वर्ल्ड right now you can decide it as per the signification of the planet for example if jupiter is connected to the 10th house and jupiter is a power jupiter is powerful or i told you that only jupiter's connection to the 10th house is enough then in that particular scenario person is here to do a powerful karma related to jupiter teaching knowledge giving and all of that for example you see horoscope of mahatma gandhi 10th lord moon is in 10th house right so he is here to moon is powerful planet so he is here to make a very powerful karma that means he will do a karma which will impact the society which will impact the world to a very greater extent right in this particular case debilitated planets i have seen also give huge karma right very impactful karma and right? because debilitation is also not a normal condition the planet gives something extraordinary For example, in the horoscope of Modi ji, the tenth lord Moon is debilitated in the second house with Mars in own Rashi. Right, so because Mars is in own Rashi, Mars is also powerful, and Moon is debilitated. Moon is also in a special condition. The person is here to do special karma, which will impact many people, which will impact many lives. Right, so based on the powerful planet connected to the tenth house, the signification of that planet, the house lorded by that planet, you can decide what type of karma one is here to do. But the exaltation, debilitation, own Rashi condition, Mooltrikon condition, Virgottam condition of the tenth lord or planet connected to the tenth house certainly indicates that person is here to do a karma which will impact many. Right, a very powerful karma, a very impactful karma the native will do. Now this concept of karma, you know, this concept of karma. See, you have to understand houses and you can then apply it to other factors also. So, for example, this particular karma thing. this is a common signification so if you wanted to see the karma with respect to marriage you say you can check the 10th from 7th lord or venus i will recommend you venus for relationships and 7th lord for marriage you will use the same principle for example if 10th from the 7th lord there is a powerful planet exalted debilitated own rashi mul trigun vargottam then in marriage in relationship person will do such a great karma which will impact many so person can set a standard for marriage person can set a standard for relationships or at least the you know it will be so impactful that you know the person takes care of the complete family of the life partner or the life partner completely transforms your life so such great thing means you are going in such a marriage or you are going in such a relationship which is not only limited to relationship companionship or home but it will greatly impact you right it will change your nature behavior character thinking which in turn will change the way you deal with the world which in turn will change how you do things right so it will change things in the same manner if malefic planets are connected in 10th from 7th lord then one will do bad karma in relationship generally such people can cheat their life partners and you know do bad things to their life partners whereas on the other hand if there is a benefic planet in 10th from venus or 7th lord in that particular scenario one does good karma in relationships one is very aware of not cheating people and not cheating anyone not hurting anyone not torturing their life partner not putting any type of mental pressure etc on their life partner one is aware of that right if there is no planet situated you will see the aspect and if there is no aspect then you will see the condition of the rashi lord right that is a very basic setup so this karma analysis technically is can be done for the native if you want to do it for the native you will do it from the 10th house or it can be done by taking 10th house from any planet that is also a you know that, that can also be done this is a principle which can be expanded to other houses in fact in vedic astrology specifically in this particular traditional stream the signification of different houses can be extended to houses from planets also so for example if second house indicates wealth or you say if second house indicates sustenance if second house is having the signification of sustenance then you can see second house from any planet to check what sustains the planet for example you can check second house from the 7th lord to see what will sustain the marriage you can check second house from the 10th lord to see what will sustain the profession you can check the second house from the lagna lord to see what will sustain the native 
right this way the signification of the houses can be expanded to different houses from different planets this is a speciality in this traditional stream of astrology going further some people think that business is seen through the seventh house which is not true right according see vyapar business work all of that is seen with respect to 10th house only 7th house should not be seen as per my experience this is my advice i will put you a simple point i see business from the third house so if the third house third lord is very powerful one will want to do business right in this particular case if the lagna is powerful lagna lord is powerful 10th house is powerful 10th house lord is powerful or lagna and 10th lord are connected to each other in that particular scenario one will do business and one will be successful in business also in that particular case when a powerful planet is not connected to 10th house or 10th lord is not very powerful then in that particular scenario one should go with regular employment only that is good in this particular case of business if saturn is strongly connected to the houses of business one should go for self employment self employment is things such as teaching etc where you have to teach right when you have to do the work but the work is your own it is self employment whereas planets like venus mercury more indicates business in traditional sense so business in traditional sense means suppose you have a shop so you don't make the product right someone makes the product you keep it in the shop and even if you don't go to the shop someone can handle the shop at your place and they can sell the product and you just take the profit this is pure business self employment will means teaching like teaching is self employment so you have to go and you have to teach and if you don't go then no one can teach on your behalf and the knowledge you are producing and the knowledge you are distributing and everything you are doing only right so self employment is indicated by saturn and business is indicated by moon venus mercury right other than that if other planets are connected and there is a combination for business then check then choose the business as per the signification of the planet these are the special traits so these are special traits i have told with you in that case when the 10th house 10th lord is not powerful lagna lord is not powerful 10th lord and lagna lord is not connected with each other in that particular scenario doing business i don't recommend it to people in the condition when the 10th house or the 10th lord is having a mediocre placement then in that particular scenario one should stick to traditional methods of job and should not do business according to me in this particular scenario also if the 10th house and 10th lord is weak and afflicted then in that particular scenario one cannot remain in a job for very long one cannot remain in an employment for very long and very often one will face difficulties on account of problems with seniors and you know non corporation with colleagues and it will compel the person to change their jobs or change their companies very frequently because they are not getting satisfied in that particular scenario the planet who is afflicting the 10th house or 10th lord should be remedied for stability in profession now another thing is sometime comes that whom if we are going to do business whom we should do partnership with so you have to check 10th house from ascendant and 10th house from moon both if there is a planet in 10th house from ascendant or 10th house from moon you can do partnership with that person signified by the planet so if it is sun you can do partnership with father or father like people moon then mother or mother like people relatives of mothers mars then brother right mercury then relatives specifically maternal uncles jupiter then grandfather grandparents child venus then with life partner saturn then with servant or your former employee rahu ketu then also serve rahu then also servant or former employee and ketu then with life partner or with your brother you can do partnership in this particular case if the ninth lord is situated in 10th house from sun uh, sorry ascendant or moon then in that particular scenario also because the ninth house indicates father one can do partnership with their father so only when there is a planet situated in 10th from lagna or moon one can do partnership in this case one should do partnership and then if one does partnership with the person signified by this planet then the partnership is successful otherwise not those not having this combination if they go on to do partnership then what i have seen that after some time they are only dissatisfied in a partnership blaming their partner that he is taking more money not giving me money not giving me share i am doing hard work he is just eating the uh, you know he is just eating the profit and all of these things so 
if this combination is not happening, then starting a business in a partnership and just ending it in one year on a bitter note is not a very good thing to do. Right. So accordingly, a proper choice should be made. That will be better. Right. 10th house also have a particular thing, particular signification of Meshwaran. Meshwaran means what makes you proud. Right. It, it is also a house of owner. So if there is a, if the 10th Lord is powerful, then as per the signification of the 10th Lord, as per the house situated house occupied by the 10th Lord, you should decide what is that makes the native proud. Or if there is a powerful planet, powerful planet have to be there, right? For pride to come, powerful planet have to be there. So if there is a powerful planet in the 10th house, that also tells you what the native can be proud of. Uh, which thing you can be proud of? If you have something special, then you can be proud of that, right? A beautiful person can be proud of their beauty. A healthy person can be proud of their health. So only if you have something you can be proud of, right? So when the 10th Lord is powerfully situated in a house, then as per the house, you get things to get pride on. Like you are in a position to be proud or if there is a powerful planet situated in the 10th house, then you have things that you can be proud of. The thing will be signified by the planet. On the other hand, even if there is any planet connected to the 10th house, even not powerful, then that speciality you are having, right? That special thing you are having and you can be proud of that. For example, if sun is connected to the 10th house, then name, fame, prestige, status, family, lineage is something that one can be proud of. Moon connected to the 4th house, one can be proud of their work towards their homeland, their works toward agriculture, right? Because of their mother, because of the achievements or because of the nature, behavior, character of the person, they can be proud of themselves. In the case of Mars, because of life partner, because of the sexual appeal, because of the hard work, because of the dedication and because of the obedience one can be proud of. Mercury connected to the 10th house because of commerce, mathematics, intelligence, talking skills, one educational qualifications, one can be proud of that. Jupiter connected to the 10th house, one can be proud of their education, their knowledge, their intelligence, their learning, they can be proud of that. Venus connected to the 10th house, one can be proud of their beauty, one can be proud of their life partner, one can be proud of their managerial skills, one can be proud of their charisma and charm. Saturn connected to 10th house, one can be proud of their social activities, one can be proud of uh, how, how they treat their employees, one can be proud of the team that they are leading, one can be proud of their leadership skills, one can be proud of their philanthropic activities. Rahu connected to the 10th house, one can be proud of their social circle, one can be proud of their achievements in life, one can be proud of their intelligence. Ketu connected to the 10th house, one will be proud of their spirituality, one will be proud of their attitude, one will be proud of how they have managed and handled things. Right. So 10th house gives pride. And if you are fortunate enough to have a powerful 10th Lord or a, power, a planet, planet connected to the 10th house, then for sure your horoscope is very special because you are having something special on which you can be proud of. One more thing is there. See fame, like many a time people ask for combinations related to fame. Fame is also related to 10th house. Powerful planet connected to 10th house, 10th Lord in a powerful condition, powerful planet connected to the ascendant, ascendant Lord in powerful condition will make the person famous. Right? So this is the combination for fame in this particular scenario. If the planet is connected to a beneficial planet, Jupiter, Moon, Mercury, Venus, then the person is famous for good things. Whereas if the planet is connected to like 10th house, 10th Lord is connected to Malefic planet or 10th house, there is a powerful planet, but that is Malefic Saturn, Sun, Rahu, Mars. Then in that particular scenario, like if 10th Lord is connected to a Malefic planet, Rahu, Mars, Saturn, Sun, then one can have defamation also. One can be proud because of, sorry, one can be popular because of bad things as well. Planet connected to the 10th house, they will only give fame when they are powerful. So in this particular scenario, even if Malefic is connected to the 10th house, because they are giving fame only when they are becoming powerful, it generally does not indicate defamation. But one thing is very certain that if a powerful Malefic is connected to 10th house, then in that particular scenario, at least a percentage of fakeness is there in the nature, behavior, character of the person, which one day eventually is known to the world. 
and they start disliking the person. So some negative fame is also at work here. Most importantly, what I have seen that if 10th house is connected to Jupiter, Venus, Mercury, then one have very good functional intelligence, right? Intelligence, right? Like some people are very smart in dealing with the world. Some people are very smart in dealing with the society. They know how people will react. They know how society will react. They know how to make their next step and consciously or unconsciously make people do what they want. Right. This happens when Venus, Mercury or Jupiter is connected to 10th house, 10th lord. These people becomes very popular and very successful in social media also, right? These people have this particular charm. They know how to make, you know, people do something for them. They know how to have a fan following. They know how to, you know, subconsciously uh, make people do things. So these people are good, uh, you know, good readers of others, good, good reader of others. And specifically, these people have much intelligence to sail through life and make themselves successful. If you have this combination, then it is good. If you are not having that combination, then I think for everyone should have one such person in their contact who have this particular combination, whose advice they should regularly take. And because they know how things will work, uh, you know, following their advice and working on advice of people who are having these combinations will be very beneficial for anyone who associates themselves with such people. Right. Now, coming to planets in 10th house, see if sun is in 10th house, if sun is expecting the 10th house, sun will be in 4th house. So this is not a very good setup. Right. So in that case, you can take the negative result. Right. I am telling you if sun is situated in the 10th house. Right? If sun is situated in the 10th house, sun is a Digbali planet. Being a Digbali planet, first of all, the person will be blessed in life. So good wife, good children, good profession, they will get. Person will be famous. Person will have a long life. Person will generally live disease free. Person will have much name, fame, authority. Person will either be in a government job or will have great governmental contacts. Person will have great fan following. Though marital life is not very good, there is dissatisfaction between the couple, but it can survive. And the person is well to do. Person is fortunate and gains through multiple sources. And in the profession, person is at top, like one of the highest, one of the most successful people in his profession, the person is. Sun aspecting the 10th house is okay. The person is popular, the person is known. But other than that, it gives hurdles and challenges in life only. Right, there is problem from government. Person is not successful in his homeland. So person should go away from homeland and then do things. Other than that, person is associated with highly placed successful people, but he himself is not very successful. But in that you will have to do a very holistic analysis. So this way you can change the significations accordingly. That I am talking with respect to planet situated in the 10th house. Now moon connected to the 10th house, though you will think that moon is Digvalheen, but 10th house and 11th house, any planet is good. And so just any, just the placement in the 10th house and 11th house is very good for any planet. So moon also in this case should not be taken as bad. Moon is connected in the 10th house, person is very successful in business. Can have a work related to government, so can be in a government job or can be connected to government, can be supplying things to government or getting governmental aid in their profession. Specifically business or managerial works are very suitable for the native. Person is very popular, gets much love, name, fame, prestige, and you know, and credit for what they do in their profession. But professional life is instable. Multiple ups and downs are there. The person to settle down, you know, get married, make home, and have a permanent job, it takes time. It happens after 30, 35 only. Profession generally in Profession generally includes of traveling. The traveling profession is highly, you know, strongly seen. Other than that, person earns good money from their profession. And generally such people can have affairs in their professional place also. And there is peace in life. The person is generally mentally satisfied and contented. But the person have to travel a lot, a lot of instability is there in life. Mars and 10th house will once again be Digbali. The person will be successful, 
person will be highly placed in their profession. Person will have good name fame status, will be blessed in profession. Right, will be supported by their bosses and colleagues and associates also. Person will be very popular, very successful in their profession. People will know him as a as someone who does his work with much finies. Right, person will reach at top in his professional life. However, marital life is somehow not very satisfactory. So in marital life, there are issues and hardships are there. Other than that, person keeps good health. And person keeps good health and generally many people of opposite gender are attracted to this native. So there is high chances of having multiple relationships all multiple times when the eight, six, seventh Lord is also afflicted in that case, such people can have extra marital affair also. Mentally, they are a little bit disturbed. Family life is disturbed. Either they don't go well with their mother or because of their mother, they have to spend a lot of money. Childbirth have some delays and some initial abortions. Can be, can be said. Mercury in the 10th house is a good setup. Person does good karma. Person is successful in business, not very much in job. There is competition in workplace. Right? Though the person is not very you know, very much dedicated to their profession as such. They do very silly mistakes, but only by the grace of God, they secure themselves in the job and they do not remain unemployed for very long as such. They get employment very quickly, even if they lose the job. Other than that, ups and downs are there in profession. Settlement happens late in life. But other than that, the person is intelligent, the person knows how to behave and how to, you know, how to make people happy and secure a promotion and all of these things. If they do business, it is good. Otherwise, it can be problematic. Many a times person aspires for something that I will get the promotion or, you know, some great uh, professional achievement the person aspires for, which he does not get, right? And because of which he feels very dejected, he feels very depressed. And because of this rejection and depression, for some time, person can lose interest in working also, which will be detrimental for the progress of the native. The person generally comes from good family and much support from families there. So the person does not worry much about money. Multiple things are, you know, well settled in life. The person don't have to worry much about wealth as such. So there is no, there is no force on the native to, you know, like work only. Other than that, with Siblings, the relationship is not very good. Person generally don't have very good friends. Right. Family life is good. Marital life is happy. In the family, the native is good with respect to property. The person is fortunate. But what I have seen that these people generally don't have their home till late. Even if they have their home, they live in rented properties only. Right. But eventually, in the end, when they make home, they make good palatial home. So that is very good. Their children can take up a lot of time while growing up. Their children may demand a lot of time and much care, which can be a little bit problematic for these people. Other than that, they are almost fortunate in the matter of profession, not being very skilled also because of fortune, they sustain the job. Even if they lose the job, they quickly get it. But multiple times I have seen Mercury in the 10th house because of non-seriousness in a profession. Or because of doing some very silly mistakes in profession, because of not being very serious about what you do, they can do very silly mistakes, which can give problem to them. So they should be careful about it. Jupiter in the 10th house, one is very fortunate in their profession. One is one earns well in their profession. The person is respected, will reach at a very high position in their profession. The person is rich also, lucky also, much supported by family and earns good amount of wealth. In the matters of home and family, the person is very lucky, have a supportive life partner, have a peaceful environment, owns big, good home. Like these people quickly make money in profession and settle themselves. Right. Though professional competition can be problematic for them, but they are highly posited in life. Generally, these people have some, you know, unnatural types of job. They generally work in those departments where they can be called anytime or, you know, a profession where you have to work always. For example, a teacher always have to think, a teacher always have to learn, a teacher always have to be ready for teaching. So they generally work 
in a job where they never get off from the job where they have to constantly think or they work in that type of job where there is no fixed working hours right other than that it is very good and the person is in a type of job where the person will change the lives of people for better right person is in a type of job which gives people something good for example you see like police army they protect people but you know like they protect the society as such not everyone gets benefited by police it though the protection is there and they are working for the society only but the direct involvement is not there on the other hand you see bank so people keep their money in a bank and they get interest on it so everyone who keeps money will get interest on it so this is a profession which helps people that on day to day basis it technically helps everyone so such profession they engage in venus in the 10th house affair at the workplace is there the person is well successful in their professional life person have high managerial positions also generally these people do the same profession which their mother or father have done so starting with family business or going into the same type of profession that their family members have been doing is indicated generally venus connected to the 10th house person keep on working even after retirement and the person is very intellectual the person is very learned that's so because of which you know there is some role of intellect in their profession also the person is almost very indispensable and if the person leaves some company or stops working somewhere the people the company where they leave cannot you know find a replacement of this person very easily person is very multitasking person can handle many things at many things very easily right the person can get bad name fame defamation or you know like can 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 get bad name regarding something which they have not done which spoils their professional career which spoils their mood for some time and can send them into depression also but other than that it is good person multiple times you know tries to contemplates on leaving the job and starting business and things like that but multiple times if the venus is not supported well by strength it can fail also and other than that venus gives a lot of enjoyment and luxuries through profession person is well paid person loves working venus in the 10th house indicate that this is a person who's who loves spending more time in uh, their profession office while working rather than spending at home Saturn in the tenth house. One thing is there; it gives you at least one fall in profession. So generally, Saturn connected to the tenth house after the person have achieved success and have enjoyed it for some ten, fifteen years, there comes a great shock where the person can lose substantially. The person have to be prepared about it if one does not use foresight in their professional plans and ideas, then it can be very, very problematic for the native. other than that saturn gives slow but steady progress except for this one type downfall or shock whatever person gains whatever level of income they start getting or whatever level of profession seniority of profession they reach they never have to compromise on that it always sustains saturn in the 10th 10th house also indicates that your profession involves international contacts and gives you chances to go to foreign lands it will also indicate odd working hours where you don't have fixed time of working such as army police etc or it will indicate a work where you have to take your work with home also things such as teaching banking etc where even at home you have to keep on thinking about which idea to implement next what to do what not to do this is technically a profession when you are 24/7 engaged in profession other than that this profession generally saturn in the 10th house person is in a profession which includes a lot of secrecy and if they you know let people know about their professional decisions or what is happening in their profession it can be very detrimental for them it indicates that type of profession saturn in the 10th house also makes sure that the marital life is not very good the home life is not very happy that having land property vehicle makes takes a substantial time person is working less for money more for you know serving the society serving the world serving the country this is the this is bigger motivation of the native which the native works for other than that their personal life is not very happy 
and generally the person remain dissatisfied on account of his personal life which can also affect his professional life as well most importantly problem because of life partner or instability in life because of uh, life partner because of spouse is what what create much difficulties in their professional life rahu connected to the 10th house is good setup person is very successful in sales and all of these things whatever the person want to do he can do it generally even if the person is you know doing wrong practices people don't come to know of it and this person remains very prosperous earns good amount of money even if they cheat people so this particular thing is there along with this there is no support of family in profession person sometimes feel very unlucky and not supported by anyone in their profession but the profession is related to government either the person himself is in government job or he is dealing with many people of the gover governance person is generally winner over their enemies and rahu in the 10th house people can only envy you but cannot you know come even 1% closer to you as the person like rahu in the 10th house generally the greatest break or the best time in profession comes after 32 years of age person is very popular person is very successful people want to become like the person he is inspiration for many right but there are some very serious ups and downs in life which can sometime force the native to leave a job or quit a job which they do not want to but they will have to do because of some unavoidable circumstances ketu in the 10th house is also very good person does good karma and the person is focused on making an impact on the society other than that person is successful in their profession though the success comes late, late in life after 40 40 or after the age of 40 but the person enjoys working generally a self employed person right they are lucky in their profession also they have some very special charm right a special type of voice or a special type of skills using which they excel in their professional life many a times to support themselves person have to do that work that the that they do not like but they have to do it because they have to support themselves the existential crisis or you know some very serious financial problems can also occur multiple times but this ketu in the 10th house makes you fortunate and it makes sure that you never remain unemployed the flow of money keeps on happening generally ketu in the 10th house and 11th house i say that these people earn from their mistakes also so multiple times because experiment you know while experimenting or doing things just for fun person creates something or stumble upon stumbles upon an idea which completely changes the life of the native and makes the native you know very rich changes the professional path of the native makes the native very successful right so these things ketu can do in 10 house right these are the result of the planet the same result more or less can be modified with respect to aspects also so regarding sun i already told you if moon is aspecting the 10th house he is probably aspecting from the 4th house only in this case person is very happy person is very successful person have a lot of achievements right wife part life partner can also be working or life partner can come from a very rich family so person don't have to worry much about money in the matters of wealth property person is fortunate and well to do right and a person enjoys doing their work person have good name fame status if mars is expecting the 10th house mars can be expecting the 10th house from the 7th house in this case person is very successful person is generally very acclaimed very honored right many people of opposite gender are attracted to the person and person in very short time reaches great heights in their profession right and getting their name name published in newspapers and people flocking around them and you know these people only in 6 months are any more doing better than people who is working from decades is generally the result which is seen which is very good also if mars is situated in the 4th house and it is connected to the 10th house then it is not a very good setup it indicates that one is unfortunate in the matter of professions one can lose profession for long time there can be defamation there can be bad name fame attached to the person these things know that if you know if people start talking like this person does not pay back their money or this this person is not very grateful if such things get attached to you it is also defamation and this is a result of sun or mars connected to the 10th house while be situated in the 4th house suspecting the 10th house that kind of setup right so such bad name fame get attached to the native 
and generally i have seen that such native at least once in their life for 2 3 years go in such a condition where it is very difficult to sustain their family and day to day needs also other than that this setup also makes one you know struggle to have very basic needs of vehicle and home and settlement in life so this is not a very welcome setup as such Mars in the third house, expecting the tenth house is okay. The person have to travel a lot. There are ups and downs, but the person is courageous. Through investment, the person earns good amount of money. Person is generally in a profession where they have to take risk, or person is in a profession related to sales or into a profession where they have to travel. If these things are there in profession, then the profession is stable and the person success person you know have a lot of success. If these elements of risk taking, of courage. Of travel of salesmanship is not in profession, then in that particular scenario, professional life is very unstable and person loses or changes job very quickly. Loses job if Mars is weak, changes job if Mars is powerful. Right? This way it has to be understood. Mercury connected to the 10th house can expect, like expecting the 10th house, can expect from the 4th house only. In this scenario, when Mercury is connected to the 4th house, person generally do not have a home to live, or even if the person is having property, he lives in a rented home. So that becomes more or less of a problem. From family, the person is not very satisfied. In family, there is a lot of dissatisfaction and regular fights happening, which spoils the mood of the native, which in turn also you know, affects the professional performance of the native. Generally, Mercury influencing the 10th house from 4th house. Or this, you can also say that Mercury influencing the 10th house while being situated with the 4th house, or while being situated with the 4th house, or aspecting while being situated with the fourth lord or getting expected by the fourth lord will also produce the same result. Right. So Mercury, what I was saying, Mercury connected to 10th house through the fourth house also indicates that person wanted to pursue some other profession with the, which he or she could not pursue because of some reason. And now because they could not pursue that, they have to satisfy with this particular profession. This is also indicated by the same set. Jupiter connected to the 10th house, if Jupiter is expecting from the second house, then in that particular scenario, person is very highly placed in their profession, earns a lot of money from their profession, gets, fam gets the support of family in their profession, and generally person chooses family profession only. Jupiter from the 4th house connected with the 10th house, person is very fortunate, person is very fortunate in their profession, very popular, very lucky, very well known, acclaimed, scholarly, Person knows how to behave, how to win over people, how to get appreciation, how to make people do what they want. Person know it very well. Along with that, person is very lucky in profession. Only after working for 5 to 10 years, one gets thing which people get after working for 50, 60 years. Person is lucky in that matter. If Jupiter is situated in the 6th house in that particular scenario, though the person is very hardworking or very hardworking and dedicated, a sudden change of thought from practical life to spirituality and all of these things will compel the native to change their job or lose interest in job. Competition, enmity, jealousy, backbiting makes their progress difficult. And multiple times the expected result from profession of promotion, etc., the person does not get, which becomes frustrating for the native. Venus connected to the fourth house will be connected from fourth house only in this person. In this case, person will be very lucky, well to do, satisfied, will have multiple buildings, multiple homes, loving life partner. The life will be good. The professional life will be good as well. Person will earn good amount of money from profession and will quickly get things. So income will be very great. So quickly accumulate things, purchase home, property, vehicle, etc. from profession and will settle quite quickly in life. Saturn connected to the 10th house, if he's expecting the 10th house from the 8th house in this particular scenario, misfortune, right? Death of someone or loss of property or accident, etc. These, thing, these things will force the native to leave job or will force the native to not take the opportunity which can be life-changing for them. Other than that, in the case of profession also, person can be Victim of office politics and backbiting, etc., of the people. Other than that, in professional life, also, you know, there will be success in the professional path. Promotions will be delayed, person will not get his due credit. 
and all of these problems can come right if the person starts his own business engages into self employment then the bad results can be subsided to a great extent saturn in ascendant aspecting the 10th house if the saturn is powerful makes the person very successful very famous very popular people want to become like him but generally saturn in ascendant in normal condition aspecting the 10th house does indicate that because of health or because of body one cannot work for a longer time which creates problem in their professional success person does not get their due credit and the professional path is difficult and the progress in profession is not very quick one have to have patience and the personal life itself is so entangled that one cannot 100% focus in their profession only when saturn is bad in the ascendant if saturn is good in the ascendant un rashi mul trikon varguttam in that particular scenario one is leader of company organization of a group very successful businessman people want to become like him he will be so successful that people will envy him one bad thing is that whatever his enemies do to harm him will affect him very much so one have to have keep and calm in this combination then they will be very very successful saturn aspecting the 10th house from the 4th house in this particular scenario home family life children spouse will create much disturbance in life because of which the native cannot focus completely in his profession professional life will be studied of dejections depressions and hardship person will get good position only late in life and most importantly you know ego fights or because of bad behavior of elders one can lose significant chances of progress and professional life about which the native should be careful right so this i told you 10000 in nutshell and i think if you have been following all of these of my videos that i have made on the analysis of different houses you must have understood by far how to analyze the house and if you have seen all of my videos you also know very well about the signification of planets so using that you can make more predictions related to 10th house and if you are able to if you learn how to read a horoscope properly in the traditional way and if you are able to make 100% correct predictions with confidence i will consider my effort being successful right so try on that and if it is any difficulty in doing that watch the video over and over again make notes that will help you